Two just real quick apologies in advance. First of all, sorry for having nothing on the desk again. I don't really have a ton of Mortal Kombat stuff, even though it's weird because I freaking love Mortal Kombat. Why wouldn't I have a ton of stuff? And also, apologies for having this being recorded in selfie mode. I hate it as much as you do, alright? Really shows how professional I am. So Mortal Kombat is a very recent film in 2021. It's actually pretty good. came out uh, two months ago. Overall, it's just a very great film. I freaking love Mortal Kombat in general, so it was hard for me not to like this film. Because just Mortal Kombat is freaking amazing. By the way, spoiler warning. There's no way I can talk about Mortal Kombat being the person I am without talking about spoilers. So, spoiler warning. There you go. Alright, spoiler warning done. You know what's funny? Is that I, I never really watched the Mortal, anything past the Mortal Kombat trailer, the first trailer. I never saw the opening seven minutes because I didn't want it really spoiled. I mean, friends would come up to me and talk to me about it. And I'd be like, go away, go away. It comes out tomorrow. I'll see it tomorrow. But, yeah, that's just what I love is that the hype around this movie was so great. And I think it came out pretty perfect. I mean, being a Mortal Kombat fan, I love the movie. I'm not like diehard. Mortal Kombat, like most people who are just shitting on this movie, but I, I fairly love Mortal Kombat. It's very good. For this review, since there's just way too much to talk about in just one single video, maybe I'll do a live stream spoiler talk again. That'll be have to be that have to be somewhere late in the summer, like with my Conjuring Three spoiler talk. But for this review, I'm going to be talking about the things I liked and the things I didn't like. So I think I might start with the things I liked. Things I liked, I really loved Cole Young. I think he's a welcome addition to the Mortal Kombat franchise uh, and he's just he's a real cool character he's very compassionate about family and that's what I loved about him he was a family man he would do anything to protect his family speaking of anything to protect family I should probably review Breaking Bad next <laughs> uh, the pain of having to watch those seasons again comment down below Breaking Bad review or not cuz <laughs> that might delay my schedule for reviews watching those six seasons Another thing I liked, I also loved the casting of Liu Kang in this movie. Liu Kang is perfect in this movie. I love him. Can he beat Robin Shu? No way. Does he really play the role of Liu Kang well, though? Yes, absolutely, he does. Robin Shu will always be Liu Kang. He is a great Liu Kang. He defines Liu Kang. But he just, the new Liu Kang, he just brings this energy about his role that's awesome. He's very emotional. He also, like... He can show like kind of like a dark side to him w while showing that he's a very peaceful man. Like while some scenes where he's being peaceful, he can also be very dark at the same time without you hardly knowing. It's like, it's like this egg roll scene where he's like, he gets up ready to defend himself against Kano. Cause like, listen, one thing that I love about Liu Kang is he's very kind and understanding and compassionate. And he always wants to give people a second chance. But when it was time to get shit done, he got shit done. I also loved that this film focused way more on Hanzo and Bihan than the 1995 film. Because in the 1995 film, they were just kind of Shang Tsung's thugs. Like, he was... It's kind of stupid. But in this film, they focused very heavily on the backstory and where all the hatred comes from. And I freaking... I love it. It was phenomenal. Sonya, Jax, all the cast... They're just freaking amazing. And by the way, can we just give a slow clap to the casting of Kano? The dude's just a complete pompous dick. I love it. Diving into some spoiler territory, I loved Shang Tsung in this movie. Would I have preferred the man who played him in the 1995 one? Yes, absolutely. He's amazing. But Shang Tsung is he's just a complete ass in this movie, and I freaking love it. And they also did the freaking soul suck justice when he freaking grabs Kung Lao by the throat. It sucks his soul out. Another thing is that I fucking love Cabal in this movie. Cabal is amazing. Literally, my favorite part of this movie is when freaking Cabal ha has Liu Kang up against the wall and Kung Lao's getting his soul sucked and he's just all, he's about to get his soul sucked. I love the scream right before it happens. Things I didn't like in the movie though, while I do like Liu Kang, the character, I feel like he was just way underutilized and he was kind of an afterthought and he was kind of put to the side to make room for Cole Young. Also, they killed Bihan way too early. I mean, I know they're setting up for Noob Saibot, but he's... You need Bihan to be there. It's, it's crucial. It's part of the story. I don't know where they're going with this, of course, but just like... 
Why? Why kill Bihan this early? Goro and Raikou, they were just kind of growling big ogres. I didn't really like them. They weren't even the fun ogre. Guys, overall, I freaking loved Mortal Kombat. It was amazing. While there were a few things that I wish were kind of tweaked to make it a little better so I had no flaws with this movie, I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more than I did. I mean, I do watch it every now and then, time to time. I mean, it's off HBO Max, so I'm not watching it as much as I used to. Overall, guys, Mortal Kombat is a great film. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, I'll put it on the nerd shelf. Alright guys, so Mortal Kombat, what do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't know when yet, but sooner or later, we're going to have a very special movie review where I can promise you there will be a lot more props. I'm stroking my broomstick. I probably gave it away for you guys. No, I'm just kidding. We're not doing Harry Potter yet. I'll get to that around like a more Wizarding World soundtrack timing. But next week, I do got something very special in store for you. And just to tease it... Snoochie boochies.